Hi, Tesco here. Welcome back to Let's Play East One. So last time we uh, got Fina out of the shrine and defeated the boss. So now we want to talk to Jebo here. Yeah, so uh, last episode she, you know, collapsed just outside the village. So now she's resting. So... Uh, what we now have to do is go back into the shrine, but first I want to get a better sword we can get, so I'll meet you back in the Barbado town. Oh, yeah, I said town, I meant port, sorry. But yeah, you should all know where the Barbado port is, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you every time I go here, like how to get here, so... So first what we're going to do is we're going to talk to Slef. Uh, no, he's in the... Uh, let me go over here. Yes. Yeah, I went to the shrine and found a girl there locked up. Yeah, we're in magical fantasy land crafted by Nihon Falcon. That's where we are. Yeah, you don't actually have to move the game, does it automatically for you? So the reason why we came here is that we get a actually a better sword here. From Slash. Again. Yeah, this place was locked up, so we didn't get here before. We get the tall of that sword. Oh, I'm sure it will be useful. It's stronger than the long sword that we have, so... Yeah, so let's equip it now. So, here you go. It's, you know, 10 attack power better. Yeah, we can equip it. Yeah, it looks like a Eastern style sword, just like I said in the cutscene. So, let's equip it. So. Yay, we have a better sword now. I didn't want to talk to you, Danny. Get out of my face. So, now we have the necklace and the... Ruby we got from the shrine, so I'm gonna go with the Mina and we can sell them and get more equipment, so I'll see you there. Okay, we're back in Minia, so let's meet with the... What is his name? Pip or... Yeah, Pim, yeah, the item shop owner, yeah, so let's sell the Ruby. Yeah, so you don't have to do the, you know, the bargaining again. You do it once, you always have the uh, discount and the upgrade prices. Uh, sell the necklace also. You have 550, yeah, that's good. Now we have 3,500 gold. Yeah, let's leave and go buy some new equipment. I didn't want to talk to you, Johan, but thanks anyway. So let's see what we can buy now. Let's go... Oh, we're gonna need a new sword, so we need the shield or the armor. <clears throat> so we already have the chainmail. How much is the reflex? 5,000. Yeah, no way. We don't have that much money. 2,000. Yeah, that one we can buy. Uh, what about the shield? We have the so almost large shield. Six thousand gold. We don't have that. Uh, middle. Two thousand. Yeah, we don't have enough money. So yeah, we just go with the armor now. Come on, let me out. Yeah, just let's equip it. So we need two thousand for the uh, shield. So that's gonna be our next goal. We need to five hundred more gold so we can buy it. So yeah, this is ten more defense so let's equip it and also equip the uh 
the shield ring it reduces all damage by half that's the ring we got from the shrine last episode and it only it's only effective against normal enemies bosses it doesn't have any effect for some reason i know so now we're going to the shrine i'll uh, see you in uh Zepic village okay we're back in Zepic village let's talk to jebba no this is not oh well we can give it the silver bell back yeah No, it was not the thieves, it was in shrine somewhere. We get the power ring. Guess what that does? Ah, uh, so yeah, so it's the... Uh, yeah, it doubles my strength, so I think I want to equip it for now. Yes, they said the best offense is the best defense, so. Hey, Fina's away. Now we have a, a new cutscene here, or a dialogue, I don't know. Well, you were locked up in a cell for how no, who knows how long, so. Let's speak to Jebba. So she's an amnesiac. She will know her name and that she was in the prison. Nice. Yeah, you actually have to come to this village and talk to Jebba and Fina a uh, couple times to advance the plot. So whenever you visit Zebik, be sure to, you know, talk to Jebba or Fina. Because you need them to advance the plot, actually. So, yeah, I'll meet you at the shrine for now. Okay, we're at the shrine now, and I'll just show you where we have to go to advance. So we go all the way up to the third floor. Yeah, with the power ring we can kill these guys in one hit, so... They're not a threat anymore, but the enemies in the next floors are a threat. They're so much more powerful. I don't know what there was left, some guy for uh... I don't know, there was some problem with the software I'm recording, so it cut out for a moment, so... Oh well. We go back uh, down these stairs, so now we're in the new area. Uh, let me actually save here. Okay, so first we're gonna go all the way to the uh, west here to get a treasure. The ivory key. Then we go all the way to the south. And into this uh, statue here. Put them down here. And get the treasure chest or the heal potion. And you see the statue here, there's like a little doorway there you can see. Really dude. Can I get the door to, to move a little bit? No. Yes, so now equip the mask of eyes. You can go through the door and equip it so you can actually see where you're going. Yeah, that's the way to the boss, so we don't go wanna go there just yet. We go here in this teleporter. Uh, wait for the guy to get out of that hallway so you don't have to fight them. And get the marble key here. Uh, now we go now we go all the way back. Yeah, let me see the map first. So we go back. 
Yeah, we go all the way back to get the one item that we want. Yeah, okay. Whoa, yeah, that's really hard, guys, to try to uh, kill him because there's no way you can get him out of here because it's just a tight hallway here, so... This dude, we can lure him all the way here. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we're all the way back. Can we get this dude over here? Yes, we have to use the Mask of Ice again. And equip it. And um, yeah, go over here. No, it was the other way around. It's this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just checking that I'm going into the right way here. Yeah, I know this one. And there should be a key here, item that we have to go get, so here, yes, this one, it's the silver shield, it's the best shield in the game, so let's, let's as you can see here, the slots for the uh, shields, so you have four, no, I think you have five, but this is the silver shield, this is one of the best ones, so let's equip it, um, Yeah, there's nothing else here, so now just want, we just go back. So into this one. There we go. And now we go into the... So back here. Try to get this tiger enemy over here. Nice. Avoid all the enemies here. We go... Yes, we go into this teleporter right here. And we get the tiger and we come over here, like so, nice. Use the mask of eyes. And equip it. Avoid the fucking enemy here. Oh, holy shit, I almost died. Uh, yeah, let me see if there's anything else we need to do. No, what, now we can just go into the boss fight. So use this here, teleporter. So you need all the key, you need the ivory key and the marble key, both to get into the boss fight, so it's right there, so let me make a save here. And yeah, we can save right over here. Uh, let me just use the item actually to... Yeah, you square to heal yourself completely. Yeah, let's save actually now to... So equipment, yeah, this ring doesn't really matter, so... Just have the shield equipped, the Talver sword, and the best armor you have, which is the plate mail for now. And let's go beat the boss. Yeah, you need to touch the mural here, and it transforms into a snake. So for this boss, try to stay in the middle and just. Uh, from left to right and the boss should be dead it's gonna take a while but that's the best strategy i have here yeah this is all i'm gonna do for the boss so i'll just uh you know yeah don't hit the head because the head is the only thing that can hit you so just take it slowly and you'll be fine so i'm just gonna uh, fast forward this because there's really nothing else to this boss. All you have to do is wait for him to, you know, like circle around you and then you just hit him in the middle. So I'll meet you right back when the boss is actually dead. Like a 
boss is almost dead, so... And there you go. That's the boss. Really easy. Just take it, uh, you know, slow and easy, and you'll be fine. And we get a level at level 7 now. What do we have here? We have the beak. <laughs> beak, yeah. The Book of Ease. Um, yeah, now we just get out of here, so I'm just gonna, you know, meet you back outside the shrine. Okay, I'm out of the shrine now. Uh, you could have, you know, bought a, there's a, like some potion or wing, a viral wing or something like that you can buy from Pim that actually teleports you into the, uh, uh Mina Village. You could have used that, but I just walked away because I don't want to waste my money. So let's go talk to Jebba now. We did find the Book of Ace. So we have to go to Sarah's place now. Let's talk to Fina. Okay, so next time on Let's Play East 1, we'll go talk to Sarah and see what happens next. I'm Desko, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!